Hello my MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode. If this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday and Thursday teaching you to learn to love yourself flaws and all, trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. So if you're new, consider hitting that subscribe and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. So today in Weekly Angel Guidance, we're going to be going through three phases of the moon and I'm going to be talking about Mercury Retrograde. Now Mercury Retrograde actually started last week. It started on July the 26th or the 27th, depending on where you are in the world. Now Mercury is a planet which rules communication, travel, electronics, and that's it, I think. So that's going to be a lot going on. I've already noticed the effects of Mercury retrograde. There's like a two week shadow period before and after. And I noticed when I was chatting with one of you guys on our um, market research sessions, which I'll talk more about later, um, I had I couldn't even connect to the call. And by the time I connected, I had like seven minutes left of the call to go before I had to um, speak with someone else. So I'm noticing that and also, I've lost my favorite necklace, which has a cinnabar um, crystal, which is the stone for manifestation, and that's gone missing. And I'm like, I, I've turned my whole bedroom upside down. I don't know where it's gone, so I don't know what's happening, but I'm just going with the flow. Anyways, have a look. Um, I've got a video up here for you to check out about um, three strategies to help you deal with Mercury retrograde because despite what people say, yes, it can be crazy, but it's actually a really, really beautiful time. I think of it like the universe allows you to see things a lot clearer instead of going like 50 miles an hour, things start to slow down and you start to see where the little cracks are and where you can improve. So just look at it as a beautiful thing. Um, and if you're traveling, maybe go a little bit earlier. Um, yeah. Are you ready for this? Okay, so we're going to be starting the week out in the, what is it called? I'm just consulting my notes. The lunar eclipse full moon in Aquarius. Now this actually started last week on Friday or Saturday, depending on where you guys are in the world. And it's continuing on through to Monday, for Monday and Tuesday. So this is all about releasing. So your affirmation is, I release anything that no longer serves my highest good. If you caught last week's weekly angel guidance, you would know that we were all meditating together um, at the time of the full moon. And you guys were all listening to my Forgiveness Heals guided meditation, um, which is a 30 minute guided visualization. You can check it out right here. It was most powerful at the time of the full moon. Even though we're still in this full moon time, you can still um, have massive results if you purchase that one and you release what no longer serves you. Um, I can't, I can't tell you how important this is. This um, eclipse that we're going through right now hasn't occurred in over 120 years and the time of the full moon, it actually um, was lasting for an hour and 23 minutes. So that it's just so powerful. Um, and yeah, it was in four degrees and 44 minutes of Aquarius, 444, where we're looking at defining stability. Think of four as in like four legs on a chair. Um, and that's what the universe is trying to cultivate for you. Um, so yeah, that's going to be for Monday and Tuesday. Then coming into Wednesday is the disseminating moon. This is our receiving phase of the moon. So this is when we receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. So if you guys have been doing the work, you have been taking inspired action, you literally have been going through all the different phases of the moon, then this is the phase of the moon where the universe is gonna bring you that delicious goodness. It could just be you have just planted the seeds and it's maybe this is not the right time for your harvest just yet. It just depends where you are on your journey. For some of you, this is a really, really powerful time. Some of you could be receiving abundance, but this abundance initially will be a blessing in disguise. It's kind of like a, your little divine intervention if you haven't been on the right path. But in turn, like in hindsight, you will actually notice that what's happening to you is actually a blessing in disguise. So this is 
de just depends where you are. If you want clarity for your own personal situation, then this is when I would love for you to book a private reading and I can give you 30 minutes of detailed clarity from my angels to help you. Okay, so that's for Wednesday through to Thursday. Then on Friday, we move into the last quarter of the moon. This is asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So this is, I like to look at this also as in like the yin and the yang. This is like the balancing. So it's like you've received abundance and now we need to give back however that looks like for you. So there's lots going on. I hope you're excited. And uh, let's get into today's reading. So I'm going to be using the Shadow Skates Tarot today. And yeah, this is just a general reading. So if you're new, just take from this what feels truly best for you. You know, this is general. So this could be one card. This could be all of the cards. Just pay attention. What comes up in your intuition when I hold a card? All right, angels. Oh, did I tell you what the week was for? Oh, yeah. July 30th to August the 5th. You believe we're in August already? All right. What do we need to know, angels? What do my MK Love fam need to know for the week? Okay, let's see. What do they need for Monday and Tuesday in the releasing phase? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. What do you see as soon as this card comes up for you right now? The five of Swords. Swords represents like um, challenges or obstacles. They're an opportunity for you to grow. So this one here, it's like there's a lot of darkness around him. He's carrying a sword in his hand and he's got like two like back up. But he's got his sword drawn, but then he's got his other arm going like Hmm, but he's in the air. This card I've gone like a complete blank. It's just like releasing toxicity, like you're not gonna stand for him anymore. It's like, don't, not like don't test me, but it's like, don't, like I, I'm not gonna stand for this anymore. He's wearing armor on his chest to protect him. I just feel like he acts real tough, but inside he's not. Like he's kind of got like, oh, I got my crew around me, but I don't feel like he is as tough as he makes out to be. Have a look at this one. What do you guys see? Hmm. I just feel like he's not as tough. I just feel like he's got a lot going on but he acts like he's got a tough exterior but his face is very calm so maybe he has and he's got angel wings I think he's been through hell and he's realized that like going down this path um, like literally paddling upstream isn't serving his highest good and he's like you know what don't mess with me. I, I've been there before. I can tell you how it feels from my own personal experience, but I'm not who I used to be. And he's learning to heal these wounds. Wow. So interesting. Like every time I pull these cards, they mean something different to me. All right. So this is for the release phase, so the, the full moon. What else do we need to know for the full moon? Can we have clarity on the five of swords? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, we got the six of wands. So this is like standing tall in where you are and you're like proud of where you've come and you're like, you know what, I've been through hell. You know what, and I can proclaim to the universe that I am where I am and it's okay. Like I have been through hell. Maybe I've taken a couple of detours, but it's okay because I have learned from it. And I, not, and I just feel like you're not who you used to be. Have a look at these two like side by side. I feel like this is who you were and this is who you are becoming or this is who you are. I feel like this is who you are now. So these two cards are for the full moon. This is the releasing phase. Six of Wands. He's just like standing, like he's been through a lot, and like a lot of challenges and he's like, you know what, I'm determined and I'm going to continue on this journey because I'm incredible. I'm amazing and despite what is going on around me or 
issues that you may be experiencing at work or with your family or with your partner, it is leading you to exactly where you want. And you know, maybe it didn't happen in the time frame that you thought, but you are on the right track. All right, let's move on to the disseminating moon for the receiving phase. So this is gonna be for Wednesday through to Thursday. Is that right? That seems very short. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. What do we need to know for the receiving phase, angels? What do my MK Love Fam need to know? What do they need to know? Can I have one card, please? Well, oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> this is three weeks in a row we've got this card. Are you ready for this? For once. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is like, how crazy. We've had this, this is literally the third week in the row. So this is like, you're blossoming and you're just celebrating how far you have come. And I feel like what you released on the full moon was really it took a lot for you to get there and I don't feel like even last month you would have been able to do what you have done this this full moon and this is just a celebration and I feel like your angels are like applauding you going oh my god I'm so proud of you like do you know how far you have come and this is just a beautiful celebration this is like new growth this is the this is the new you this is totally the new you this new chapter this new beautiful flower that you have just bloomed into and you're receiving so much goodness the four is also represents stability ones is your passion it's like you're finding your passion and you're finding that stability however that looks like for you you may be receiving abundance in terms of like a home um work career relationship how does this look like for you but this is like finding security and like i just see it's celebrating this new chapter of where you are oh my god that's exciting all right clarity on the four of ones for the receiving phase of the moon one card please angels what do my mk love need to know there it is okay so now we have the six of wands it's like before i say it what do you see what do you see in this card right here the swords here we got two. oh no this is a six of swords so the six is um the swords is like challenges or in or it's like there were challenges but it's like you're not allowing these challenge you're not getting caught up in these challenges you're like on this little swans back up the top and you're just like breathing like literally breathing with ease and you're just you're not getting caught up in the toxicity and you're just allowing whatever happened to not throw you off your path because you're going to look for reasons to feel good all day long and you're finding them and you're you're like okay if this has happened let it be let it be oh let it be speaking words of wisdom let it be mother mary speaking words of wisdom let it be yeah it's like you're speaking words of wisdom it's like you're not allowing yourself to be caught in the trap of negativity and you're just rising above you're doing whatever you can to raise your vibration to make yourself feel amazing because you know that this the track that you used to be on where it was spiraled with negativity you know how quickly you can like blow up and you're like I am where I am and it's okay you're not allowing yourself to be triggered the way that you used to be triggered because you have done so much flipping work and you're just like you know this is me this is me this song came up for a private client Tanya Tell you why this came up for you the other day. This is me. It's like, yeah, this is me. How does that song go again? Uh, I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Yeah, this is you. So we've got words of wisdom and this is me. It's like, yeah, you've become so wise and this is who you are now and you're not allowing yourself to, your path to waver because of whatever comes up. 
Just think of, it's a saying from Abraham Hicks, it says, I'm gonna look for reasons to feel good all day long and I'm gonna find them. It's like just changing your perspective in the way that you're viewing things and that's totally helping your vibration. Wow, words of wisdom. Let it be. Wow, okay. Mm, there's too many cards that fell then. There was like six. Let's try it again. Can we have more clarity for the receiving phase of the moon, please, angels? Clarity on four of wands and six of swords. One card, please. What do my MK Love fam need to know? Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> I pulled this card from myself yesterday. The tower. Okay, what do you see when you see this card? Before I interject. I heard London Bridge is burning down, burning down, burning down. Um, this is like your, your existing structure, however this looked like for you. Like, even though there's fire, the fire doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Because sometimes, like, can you see like the, this came through, like the fire came through like the lightning. thought I had a song for lightning but I didn't anyways but it's like this is like but then I just see this as a really good thing it's like whatever this old stability was for you it's 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 beginning to crumble away the stability in however you're trying to find your stability because we've got like the four of wands and I feel like this is a celebration but sometimes when we make room for something new we need to say goodbye and I feel like this new phase of what we're going through for the receiving phase is like, okay, something has to break away, break away from Kelly Clarkson. Um, I think Rebecca, you said that in the comments last week. You heard that and you normally channel the same songs as me. Um, anyways, so I just feel like this is your old structure and your... I don't know, however this looks like for you has been, is becoming, it's it's taken away from you, but it's taken away for a reason. It, this is like a really good thing. Some of you may not see it right now, and I'm, a lot of you who are still learning to heal will probably become quite triggered by this, but I actually think from the majority of you, this is, you're pretty much celebrating this. This could be like changing your stability. This could be like if some of you are pregnant and Okay, your world's not going to be look, looking how it's always looked because you're going to have a new addition to your family. Or this could be like um, a new job, a new career venture. This could be like a, a change in your relationship from, you know, just casually dating to be in, in a relationship. Or this could be some of you getting engaged or some of you getting married or just a different level of commitment, a just different level. Does that make sense to you? But this is very exciting. Okay. I think, I think I'll move on to the next phase now. So I'm going to move into the last quarter of the moon, asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. It's interesting because in the receiving phase, it's like we've got the four of wands, which is like stability is, is here and abundance is coming and you're celebrating your accomplishments. But at the same time, it's like there's contrast that's coming up because, you know, we've got like a lot of planets in retrograde right now. Um, you have to watch some astrology videos to have a look at that. Um, but I feel like, I just feel like the receiving phase is all based around the four of wands, despite the other two cards, which is like the six of wands and the tower. See if I can just pull them all up. You know, I feel like this is the main success and you're not like wavering on anything that's going around you and you're like celebrating this, this chapter right here. You screenshot them if you guys want okay sometimes like wh whenever you move on to something new something has to waver that's like if you're purchasing something new it's like okay what can you get rid of that you don't need that maybe somebody else would want and then this could be some of you like selling furniture 
it's like maybe you've got the new house and then in the the next phase which is the the last quarter it's like the breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love maybe you're donating your stuff to someone who's who's less fortunate than you are oh this is totally random but i just feel like this is a celebration it's like this is me this is what the heck are those lyrics to that song oh my god i love it it's probably my spot it's in my spotify playlist i think it's on my anthems one i love the i love the lyrics where they say look out because here i come and it's like, yeah, you're beating to the sound of your own drum. And it's like, you're not scared to be seen. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. I just feel like you guys are on a whole new different level. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's have a look at the last, uh, the, yeah, the last quarter. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. This is a little crazy. I've dropped about. Oh my God. These cards are crazy. Let me try that again. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Okay. What do we need to know for the last quarter? The la oh, thanks. Okay. Four cups. So this is kind of a little bit of reflection, a little bit of introspection. And remember this card? This is when the song came up. Um, uh, when will my reflection show who I am inside? I feel like some of you haven't got there, but I feel like a lot of you have now. Maybe this is like the beginning. Hmm, let's get more clarity on that one. Because she's by herself, staring at into the water. Clarity, please. What do we need to know, angels? Well, thank you. Okay, it's like, okay, seven of cups. This is like, um, like a difference of opinion, but this is like, this is a good thing. It's like you need other people's, I feel like other people are gonna give their opinions, but only you know what's truly best for you. Someone will be like, what if we do it this way? And then someone's like, what if we do it that way? And I feel, what is this all about? I'm just trying to piece this reading together. Why did that come up with this one? Maybe it's like, I don't feel like it's looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like, I feel like everyone has got like a lot to give, but I feel like deep within your heart, you know what's truly best. No, no matter how high an authority someone may be to you and they're like, oh, that's never gonna work. And you're like, actually it is, just watch me. You know, I just, I feel we've got the two of, we've got two um, cups cards, which is like the emotions around the last quarter. Maybe other people's opinions may be like making you a little bit weary and maybe you're confused because of the communication aspects in terms of like what's going on with um, Mercury retrograde and you're becoming so confused. Maybe that's why you've gone back to the water, which is like your happy place, your love language. And this is like where you're like, maybe this is a place where you need to go to find introspection. But then you're kind of like, I know I'm on the right path, but I just fell off just a little bit. Maybe this tower card kind of just threw you off just a little bit and you're like, oh shit, why is this happening? But it's like, okay, what's the lesson? What do I need to heal? What are these mirrors around me that I need to heal? So when someone says that and that triggers this within me, I'm like, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's the lesson and what do I need to do to heal and to move on? I just feel like a lot of people are going to be saying, I just feel like stick to your guns, listen to your intuition. But then also this could be a time to work together with other people. It, uh, you have to take from this what feels best for me. This is just a general, like I'm reading for every um, zodiac sign. Okay, what else do we need to know, angels? For the last quarter, breathing with ease. Clarity on the four of cups and seven of cups. Bah. Okay, the first card that I saw because there was 
actually a lot, but there's actually two that I saw. The first one that I saw is this one, the Three of Swords. So this is breathing with ease, knowing that you have done the work, you have made peace, you were not who you used to be, you have healed this blockage, or maybe you have big, you've just said, I'm willing to heal. And you've done your healing at the full moon, or maybe you haven't, but you can heal at any time of the moon. I just tell you that it's most powerful and it's the best time to take advantage of the full moon energy is at the time of the full moon in particular this full moon that we've just been through so maybe this is like if this is coming becoming clarity on the four of cups and the seven of cups it's like you've been hurt and maybe this is you not being able to trust other people let me just show you these cards maybe this is you not being able to maybe this is like you needing time alone or maybe you haven't really worked out who you are and you're learning like this one here is to trust other people or to do things differently. Maybe you haven't had somebody help you out before and this is like bringing up wounds and you're like, oh gosh, I don't know if I can do this. And your angel's like, yes, you can. Just breathe with ease, you know, give back. How can you help? Maybe if you see someone who's struggling, this is where you help them out. Maybe you have the knowledge and the time to help somebody who's struggling on their path. Okay. I'm a little bit confused by this. Let's just get one more card to summarize it all and then I'll try and piece it together for you. Cause it's like, this is me. It's like you're releasing your pain you're starting this new chapter you well or you're receiving abundance from this new chapter that you've in because you've done a lot of work and then i feel like as you're breathing with ease you're i just feel like you're reflecting even though we're not in the reflecting phase of the moon just yet but we're getting super close to it okay can we just have clarity on the whole reading okay that was very quick oh the high priestess okay so this is seeking inner knowledge connecting with your own intuition i feel like this card right here is summarizes the whole week it's like you need to tap in to your intuition you need to tap in to what you feel is truly best for you you know if something makes you feel uncomfortable just say okay thank you thank you thank you what is the lesson that i need to know to move forward because there is there's a moon uh, um, not a moon an owl here which is nocturnal so the, it's got his arms stretched so he's like flying in the night sky the stars all around you it's like your wish your wishes are, are becoming a reality she's got a pomegranate in one hand though what is the pomegranate like bursts of flavor i just had pomegranate the other day how weird is that it's not even in season here whoa what do you see i just see she's like the lady of the night she's like the lady that's like it's like she's celebrating who she is and she knows exactly who she is and she knows if she needs help she just okay goes to the moon she goes in mother nature you know she takes her shoes off she lays down on the earth and just asks the universe to ground her energy i feel like this is all about your intuition your inner knowing, you already know what you need to do. A lot of you just overthink it and you overcomplicate it. And I feel like a lot of you um, are subjected to a lot of outside forces and that kind of makes you go like, should I do this? Oh, maybe I can't do that. So yes, you can do it if you want to do it and you know within your heart that you have the ability to turn it into reality. It is possible. And I feel like some of you get a little bit like disheartened by outside forces trying to get in your ear and saying, don't do this, this is not culturally appropriate. Oh my God, you're 30, you need to have a house and be married and blah, 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 and have all these kids. It's like, what do you want to do? What makes you happy? This is literally like your intuition is like your emotions, your emotional guidance scale. Where 
are you on this scale? In terms of like releasing, how do you feel when, when somebody says something awful to you? You know, you probably don't feel really good and that's probably in a mirror to you of something that you need to heal. Great, spend time listening to Forgiveness Heals. Heal that blockage. Then on the receiving phase of the moon, it's like, okay, we're celebrating this new stability and this new success or this new level of success that you have achieved and you've worked bloody hard for. And you know, things aren't looking the way it used to be. And you know, sometimes when we go through a change in a chapter and things get taken away from us, we go in that little place of like uncertainty and we're like, ah, and you freak out, you know, where it's not like black and white, we're in the gray area but that gray area is perfect because it's allowing you to make choices that feel truly best to you and not what your parents want you to do. Then, or what society wants you to do or t thinks, well, tells you is the right path. Okay, then for the breathing with ease phase, I feel like this is a lot of like doing things. <laughs> I did it my way. Yeah, you did it my way. I just heard my way as soon as I saw this card. It's like, you do things your way. What feels truly best for you? And I feel like this is you following your heart and your intuition in this one here. And I feel like you need to like, I feel like this one is you just taking a little time away and just really working out what exactly do you want, you know? Now that you're, maybe you received something but it wasn't what you wanted. And maybe this is an opportunity for you to um, refine your vibration because sometimes you receive things and you're like, Ugh, that's not what I wanted. Or, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I can change it, you know? Change, change, change. Change for, for five long years. I thought you were my man, but I found out you're just a link in my chain. You got me where you want me. You treat me mean. Oh, you treat me cruel. Yeah, it's like you've been through hell. You've been treated bad, but you're not allowing it this time because you've got to a different level of self-love, and you're not going to be. You're not allowing anyone to treat you any less than what you deserve. That's kind of where I feel. But yeah. The High Priestess is where you're at right now. I hope this has helped you. Oh my goodness. If you loved this reading, can you please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what came up for you because I always love hearing from you. I love hearing ex with exactly with what you're going through because, you know, if you read the comments, most of you are going through the same types of things, just scattered around the world. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching today's episode. And oh, also, if you would love to secure a free 20 minute session with me, click the link down below because I'm going to be taking 22 of you. Um, this is my second round. I've already done 22 of you guys who are on my mailing list. Um, and I'm going to be having one on one sessions with you to find out where are you on your on your self love makeover and where exactly do you want to be? Because all the research I'm going to be um collating together is going to help me formulate my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. I've had the best time talking to you guys. So if you've already joined the call, thank you so much. And if you would love a session, click the link um, and it will take you to my scheduling page and you can click your time zone to work out where you are in the world. And then I'll schedule a time and yeah, we'll chat on video, which is exciting. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on Thursday and yeah. I think that's it. Anyways, I love you and I will see you soon. Goodbye.